the man himself, Max Kellerman, as we mentioned, July 25th. It goes down right here in Studio E with Stephen A. Smith. So let's begin with a message from Stephen A. Smith, Studio E, still chilling in California as we speak, but making a move out here shortly. We know about your history in boxing. Will you and Welcome back to Mike and Mike. I'm Jen Latta. For all the different sides that people find themselves on, sports can serve as a unifying force. So often they have the power to reach and rally people together for a common good. There's no better reminder of that than this very week. Wednesday marks the 12th annual ESPY Day to benefit the V Foundation. Welcome back to Mike and Mike, I'm Jen Latta. The first half of the baseball season certainly flew by because here we are at the All-Star break. The Home Run Derby is of course on ESPN tonight, one of the great summer pastimes in all of sports, combining some of stars you know and some stars you might not know. Welcome back to Mike and Mike, I'm Jen Latta. If you stayed until the end of the Home Run Derby yesterday, you certainly were rewarded. Giancarlo Stanton was rewriting Derby history with his performance in San Diego. He clubbed 24 homers in the first round alone en route to a dominant victory. Good morning to you on this Tuesday. I'm Jen Latta. So another legendary career has come to a close. Next season is gonna feel downright strange without the likes of Kobe Bryant and of course, Tim Duncan. Welcome back to Mike and Mike, I'm Jen Latta. It's SB Week here at ESPN, which means it's a time of reflection for many of us. The 2016 ESPY Awards are tomorrow evening, and that gives all of us the opportunity to help fight cancer by contributing to the V Foundation for Cancer Research. Many here at ESPN have been sharing their stories of courage in the weeks leading up to tomorrow. Welcome back to Mike and Mike, I'm Jen Latta. We've officially entered the second half of the baseball season after all-star festivities wrapped up late yesterday in San Diego. The American League took the game and home field advantage in the World Series. And if that sounds familiar, it should, as should this. It's time now for Nerd. Welcome back to Mike and Mike, I'm Jen Latta. Quite the ovation yesterday for David Ortiz, who exited the game in the third inning in his seventh and final all-star game. An incredibly deserving moment in a season where he is on pace to slug more than 40 homers and more than 130 RBI. What a final season.